Hey guys, today we're taking a look at some of the top iOS 7 tweaks that have been updated to support iOS 7. Now this will be part one of an ongoing series, so make sure you check back periodically for the new and improved iOS 7 tweaks. Now our first tweak we're going to take a look at here is Zeppelin. Now Zeppelin is a great tweak that adds custom themes and you can even change out the carrier text of your carrier. So you can choose throughout the different themes including the Apple logo, Android, Cloud, Dark Knight, uh, you have Infinity, Nike, None, and they're just really high quality images that just replace your carrier update in the top left hand corner and you can even download packages with more bundles within Cydia. Barrel is one of those must have Cydia tweaks after jailbreaking that adds different page animations as you slide throughout the different pages on your device. Now personally I like to keep it on random because you never know which animation will pop up as you are scrolling throughout the different pages. So some of the animations include cube in and out, we have page slide down or page slide up, curl and roll away and curl and roll away alternate, we have vertical scrolling, page fading, stairs down to the right and stairs down to the left, we have page squeezing, flippy, page zoom, and last but not least we have the Pac-Man animation. So guys, this is Barrel. Blord is a simple keyboard jailbreak tweak that transforms the white iOS keyboard into a black iOS keyboard deriving from black and keyboard. Now this will work for any application, whether you are in Safari, Mail, text messages, basically anything that will use the iOS keyboard and it will transform it into that black keyboard giving it a nice minimalistic look. Now there's a simple kill switch in the settings that you can enable black or white depending on your preference. Within iOS 7, there is no easy way to kill all the applications in your multitasking bar, but thanks to Switch Spring, all you do is go ahead and swipe up on your home bar and you have the restart, quit apps, or cancel options, and you can easily kill all the apps within your multitasking tray. Now a similar tweak known as Purge will do the same thing but all you have to do is go ahead and tap and hold on any of the applications. You will get a prompt asking you if you want to kill all the apps and you can either select yes or cancel and all the apps in your multitasking tray will be deleted. Software Update Killer is a great tweak that prevents you from updating to Apple's latest iOS software losing your untethered jailbreak. Now this will actually block out the ability to update if an update was available so you don't actually press on that and accidentally update losing your untethered jailbreak. If you're a Pandora listener, then you've probably noticed that ads between the music can become a pain. Now thanks to Pandora Skips, this jailbreak tweak allows you to skip all the different ads when you are browsing throughout the different music and ads will not be placed on within that five second. So you can continually scroll throughout the different songs within Pandora and not actually having to listen to those annoying ads when you are between the different songs. Swipe selection allows you to easily get to a character or word within your sentence without having to actually press and hold and bring up the magnifying glass. Now this is done by just swiping over to the left or on the right on your keyboard and you can easily make your edits without having to actually bring up the magnifying glass. Now I really wish Apple would incorporate this into their latest iOS software and in addition to that, you also have the ability to hold down the shift button and actually highlight all your text. So if you just hold down the shift and then scroll over on the keyboard, either to the left or the right, it will move the cursor over depending on where you are within your sentence. And then you can easily delete the sentence or delete the word and make corrections without having to actually bring up that annoying magnifying glass and trying to guess and check where you are on because you can't actually see. So guys, this is swipe selection. Lock screen tool allows you to edit the lock screen text with your own custom message and hide the various buttons. So at the top you have a kill switch and underneath that here's where you can go ahead and write out your own custom message. Go ahead and lock your device and you should see the new updated message right there at the bottom. Now we also have the ability to hide the different buttons including the camera button and the date and time and you can actually hide the slide to open if you do so. So all you do is go ahead and enable or disable those and if you want a clean minimalistic look on your lock screen, lock screen tool might be for you. CC toggles allows for customization of toggle and quick launch settings within your control center. Now at the top you have the standard toggles that include the uh, mute, power off, orientation lock, 
but underneath that you have various other toggles that you can invoke into the enable toggle such as respringing, rebooting your device, enabling or disabling LTE, and after you bring those up into the enable toggles, a swipe over to the right should invoke all those new toggles that you can easily have access to directly from your control center. In addition to the toggles, we also have quick launches. Now come standard include torch, clock, calculator, and camera, but underneath that we can choose the disabled quick launches and move them up into the enabled launches such as killing all apps, uh, your home button, screenshotter which will take a screenshot of your device, and then if you swipe over to the right on your quick launches, you should see those updated settings. Now we can also add user application to our quick launches so you can choose within the various apps that you already have on your device and then when you invoke your control center and swipe on over you should see those new user applications. Now you can customize where each of these settings will be located so if you move the clock up into the second position and you want to add an additional app such as the camera here you can easily move these toggles up and down and the position will change depending on where they are within the list. So guys, this is CC Toggles. Last but certainly not least is iFile. Now this is a file manager and viewing running under the user root directory. Now this gives you full access to your jailbroken device much like Finder does within your desktop map. Now iFile allows you for fast navigation throughout the iPhone file system in multiple tabs and it has viewing directories for images, movies, sound, text, HTML, web archives, and so much more that just pretty much gives you full access to what the iPhone should be and allows you to barrel yourself into all these root directories, changing out the icons, the words, the images, without having to actually use a computer because everything that you can be done can be done within iFile. So guys, this concludes some of the top iOS 7 tweaks for 2014. Make sure you say subscribe or subscribe now to stay tuned for additional parts coming in the near future. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.